Hey everyone, uh, sorry it's been a while. Uh, I've had a really busy few months and I didn't get a chance to do a video um, till now. Uh, so I apologize about that. Um, but um, the good news is, is that I have a lot of really good content coming soon. So I appreciate it if um, you'll stay tuned for that. Um, so I thought we'll just go ahead and do a quick review of three lightsabers in one video. And uh, these are all obviously Darth Vader's lightsabers. And these are 89 sabers. Um, both of those top ones are MPPs. And that one is a DV6. Um, as you'll probably know, uh, the lightsaber used in A New Hope and Empire Strikes Back is the same. Um, except for a few little tweaks. You can see here the colored wires and the ESB version. Whereas the lightsaber that was used in Return of the Jedi looks completely different. Because it was based off a Growflex um, uh, rather than an MPP uh, flash so it looks completely different. They try to kind of model it and make it look as close as possible to the original one but it does have some differences which we'll go over. Um, so all of mine are shelf queens. Um, I display them like this on this stand here which I got from Etsy. Um, none of them are installed although 89 Sabres is really grown on me. It's it's affordable, it's got very good quality, and it's it's very simple to install, so it's, it's very install friendly. Uh, some of the other high-end ones, you know, you, you do find some difficulties with chassis and components and things like that, but for the most part, 89 Sabres is great. Um, what I did with these is I, as usual, just like with my graph flexors, if you've seen those series, is I started out with a basic kit that came in the box and then I went ahead and bought some parts from other vendors like Roman Props, Wanawonga and so on and I've uh, done a lot of changes uh, to make them look as screen accurate as possible. Now, bear in mind, you don't have to do any of this, you know, if you just put together the what comes in the kit, it will look absolutely fine. Um, but if you, like me, you want to go for the most accurate version, then here are some sort of suggestions that you can use. So let's go ahead and start with that one up top. This is the uh, model that's um, seen in A New Hope. I'll just put this to the side. We'll just focus on this one for now. All right, so here is the A New Hope MPP. So the first thing I did is I changed the shroud. This shroud is from Roman Props. If you can see, it's got kind of that kind of grainy look to it. It has a, and it's kind of rounded here. The one that comes in the kit is, is kind of cut straight over here, and it's a more kind of, a, almost a shiny kind of black finish to it. It, it. It's fine, it looks all right from a distance, but up close, this is the more accurate look. It just looks much higher quality. And the good news is it fits, it works great with it. If you get the one from Roman Props, it'll, it'll fit there. You know, you'll, you'll be able to swap one for the other, no problems. I wish I had the old ones to do a comparison, but unfortunately I've sold them as someone needed them and they were in a hurry and I had to, uh, to give it to them. Um, so yeah, like I said, the shroud is Roman Props. Um, this thumb screw right here, which in A New Hope has straight knurling. You'll see the ESB one is a little different. Now you've got three options for that. You can either keep the one that comes with the kit. It looks absolutely fine. Um, you can get, well, the one that comes included with the shroud, um, with the Roman props. I personally went for the Wanawonga one because it looks the best in my opinion, but it's, it's a very small detail that you, honestly you don't need to bother. Um, the D-ring, that's 
something that I definitely recommend you get the Wanawanga. This is the most accurate looking D-ring. Um, the one that comes with the kit is too small. And the one that you can get from Roman Props, that again comes with a shroud, is huge. It, it sort of goes all the way around like and none of them look right. So this has got the right kind of size and look as well. Once you kind of pinch it down, it almost looks a little pointy and that's absolutely accurate to the prop. So I would definitely recommend one longer D-ring. Thumb screw doesn't matter as long as it's cut straight like that. Those knurlings are straight if you're doing a new hope. Shroud, I would recommend Roman props, but again, the 89 Sabres is, is not bad. Um, didn't do any changes here. I think I painted some of these. I don't know if that's accurate or not. With A New Hope, there really aren't that many good reference photos. Um, so I'll just use what I can. Um, what else? Let's see here. Okay, so I've kept the clamp. A lot of people change the clamp to Romans. Yeah, maybe I'll do that in the future. Maybe I won't. Oh, you see what I mean here about this kind of shiny, smooth, almost plastic kind of black finish. That was what the shroud looked like. So, yeah, I mean, I might change it in the future, but I'm honestly not that bothered. It's, it's a good enough clamp for me. Um, it comes with the right lever. For A New Hope, you need silver sidebars. ESB is black sidebars. And I think, yeah, no lever. I'll do a comparison in a minute. Bubble strip. Um, you know, there's a bubble strip that comes with the kit. I think it's fine. I went with the Wanawanga. He's just released some brand new ones, which kind of look more accurate. If he'd look like that this way, I don't know how well you can tell, but it almost, it, it kind of looks like, like that. I don't know how to explain it. It's not cut straight anyway. It's got like two little kind of pillars here on either side. You know, these are like just tiny nitpicks. You honestly don't need to bother, but you know, there are some fun things that are available out there. And I think, you know, why not? If I'm just going for it as accurate as possible. So this is what the A New Hope hero looks like with a bubble strip. Some people say that there should be a circuit board underneath. That's not confirmed. It definitely does. Um, there definitely is one for ESB, but for A New Hope, it's not confirmed. So I just left it like that. Um, that's it. Grips. Uh, you'll get some grips in the kit, which are okay, but... Um, they're, I think they're cut straight, that they're not angled like that, and they should be angled. They should be like, if you see here, there's like a 30 degree kind of cut, just like the Graflex. And these are the more accurate ones, and these are sold by Wanawanga. So you need seven of these grips. Um, I didn't do anything about the pommel, I've left it the way it is. Yeah, that's about it really for A New Hope. It's a very simple prop. Uh, I'm going to show you ESB and then we'll just look at some of the differences. So how do you tell the two apart? Let's just go over this. So the immediate and most obvious thing about ESB is it has these colored wires on the side which don't exist here. And this is what they use also in Rogue One. It's about the same. Um, right, so these colored wires I actually got from Wanawanga. They were difficult to fit. I have to be honest, these holes are quite small and these wires are thick. Um, you have to kind of cut them and kind of play around with them a bit to get them to fit. Uh, but they do look accurate. The ones that you get in the kit are rubbish. Do not use those. They are just plastic. I mean, they'll work. Look, they're easy to, they're kind of like plastic kind of brackets and you just kind of pop them on like that but they they just look awful I mean they're not the right color they're obvious plastic uh, you need the wires really and you have two choices either one or one or KR Sabres um, and you know there's a there's a, obviously a specific way that you know it has to be red over here uh, brown and gray 
And on this side it has to be blue and white. So I mean if you find some reference pictures, it's easy. Um, again, up here, use the same shroud as before, the Roman props. I replaced it. The blade plug, I forgot to say in the other one as well, is the same blade plug. It comes included in the kit and it looks absolutely great. Back of the shroud, again, a thumb screw from Wanawanga. But this time, if you notice, the uh, knurling is almost like a diamond shape. I'll just try to do a side by side, get the focus. So A New Hope's got the straight, ESB has the diamond cuts. Same D-ring as before from Wanawanka. It's got the right kind of size and that kind of pointed tip. No changes on the back. This is actually what fires up the saver. This will be like an activation button if you install it. I didn't make any changes here to the screws. I've left everything else here the same. Literally all I've done is replace the shroud and put in some uh, wires, thumb screw, D-ring, that's it. So the next difference is the clamp. The, the clamp over here in A New Hope sits higher on ESB, it slides lower and it touches the grips. The other thing about this clamp that you immediately notice is it has no lever. And this part here will come in the kit and you can use a pair of uh, needle nose pliers or tweezers or something like that to tighten it. Over here, you have the same bubble strip as before. I use the one longer one, cut it down to length. Now underneath, obviously over here, this you can see that strip. This amazing blue PCB card, which comes from the, um, uh, sorry, it comes from Sloth Furnace. Um, he's the only one who does these and you have to cut it down. There's a specific way you go on the forums or on Facebook. Um, there is a way. I mean, it's not hard, but you just have to kind of take your time with it and cut it at the right positions exactly. So it kind of lines up and gives you that beautiful appearance where under the bubbles, you'll see these kind of eyes like that. This is the right way to do it. Uh, so yeah, you can get this from, uh, sloth furnace and it goes right underneath that groove there in the bubble strip that just gives it that little extra detail of accuracy uh, which you don't find on like toys and other replicas so it kind of makes it stand out it, it, it's a, such a beautiful look so uh, as i said before there's some debate whether this was the same on the a new hope or whether it was a later edition I, I kind of left it just because to make them look a little bit more unique. Otherwise, it'd look too similar to each other. Um, grips, again, sold by Wanawanga. Um, they're different lengths. And they're also... They're cut straight this time. You see the ends of them? They're not angled. They're straight. And there's also only six of them. In the other one, there's seven. If you count them, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Over here, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. And yeah, you just stick those on. They come with an adhesive strip. Very, very easy to apply. Just clean up the saver a bit and uh, stick them on. If you mess up, it's no problem. You can take them off. You stick them on with a double sided 3M tape. Just try to line them up this way in this orientation. And that's it, really. I mean, uh, so very similar, both of these. Again, I think the main difference is colored wires and the blue Exactra PCB underneath here. And there's other subtle differences like the thumb screw here and whatnot and the positioning of the clamp. 
So no big deal really, I just like to have two. And these are affordable. I mean, 89 sabers. I think I got each of them for about 150 pounds. Um, you know, the parts will obviously add up a little bit, but I kind of did those over time. It, it took me a long time to kind of gather them and have them sent. It's something that I just had fun with over a few months, so it, it, it wasn't a problem. All right, we'll move on to the DV6, which is the Return of the Jedi. And you immediately notice how different this one looks. Completely different. I used to not be a fan of this one because it looks so beat up and ugly. <laughs> but it's kind of grown on me. Um, so you'll get all this in the kit. I really didn't have to do much at all. Uh, which was another factor that kind of encouraged me to get it. I didn't have to work too hard to get this accurate. So, uh, yeah, same. I've kept the shroud, the D-ring, the thumb screw. I didn't bother changing any of these because they look just fine. Uh, one thing you do have to do is there are two brass pins on either side. You have to remove one to make it look more accurate. And then on the blade plug, this is something that you could do with the Dremel. This pin here, it went up right up to here. It was really long, it's too long. So you have to kind of cut it down a bit and kind of make it look a bit jagged. I don't know if you could try to focus it. So you give it that kind of step. That makes it look more accurate to the movie prop. But again, not necessary. Uh, yeah, I didn't change anything else here. Oh, this is fine. You can do a bit of weathering if you want. I got some new grips. I didn't like the ones that came in the kit. So again, I went for the ones similar to A New Hope. I uh, got um, seven angled grips. And they have to be a bit rounded. So let me try to show you the difference of what I mean with the grips. So, going back to A New Hope, they're cut straight, like at an angle, but straight. Over here, you notice they're kind of almost rounded, they're, it kind of tapers. And I did that myself, they were the same as these ones, but I just kind of hand, I filed them by hand, just to kind of smooth them out a bit and give it a more rounded appearance. The other thing that you have to do is you have to drill these holes. There's one, two, three holes in specific locations on the hilt. And that is also accurate for the prop. And finally, this comes included with it is you get a cobalt with a pair of screws, uh, which I did not use because I'm not a fan of the uh, cobalt clip that 89 saber supply is fine it's just too shiny um i prefer the much higher quality one from wanawanga it's got a nice kind of chrome finish it's a bit thicker a bit chunkier uh, it comes with rivets uh, which were a pain to <laughs> install but there you have it um i had to cut these down and glue it and god knows what but it was fun um yeah and i'm not sure about the orientation but i think from all the pictures i've seen it needs to be kind of pointed that way so with the this control box up it has to be kind of going from you know sort of eight o'clock down here oops so if that's if this is a clock face and that's 12 o'clock there this would be eight o'clock down here where the D-ring is. And that's sort of two o'clock more or less. So it kind of goes diagonally, it cuts diagonally across it. At least that's what I think from the pictures that I've seen. I could be wrong. Um, I honestly did not make much changes to this. Literally just drilled the holes, filed a little bit of the grips to make them rounder. Uh, new cobalt. Up here, remove the pen, that's it. So that is it. That was another 89 Sabres. All three of them are 89 Sabres. Very affordable, very high quality. 
easy to install if you're put off by the fact that they're not the most accurate, they're not like Roman props and some of the higher end ones which are always sold out and pretty expensive too, I would say 89 Sabres is your friend. Um, and try to get one of these if you can and if you have any questions let me know about making them more accurate or anything like that and I'll be happy to help. So that's it you guys for today and uh, I hope you've enjoyed the videos. If you have any questions or any feedback or anything you'd like me to cover in more depth uh, do let me know in the comments down below. I appreciate it. Uh, thank you all for subscribing and for commenting and I'll see you in the next one.